Last week on Living MN Outdoors, we headed up to Tamarack Lodge on Lake Winnebagoshish. We absolutely hammered the walleyes, did a catch and cook, but that's not the end. So let's pick up on this week's story where the walleyes get bigger and we even cook up a bourbon. My goodness sakes. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Oh. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. This is such a big fish. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Measure it quick. Twenty three. Beautiful. Twenty three. It's got to go back, but I need a picture quick. Hey, you want to take a picture of me quick? Yeah, take a big one. Twenty three. Holy balls, hunt. Still there? Yeah. Grab him by the tail again, pull him up. Try and I think he's ready. There it goes. I gotta send this line back over there. Whew, that was so exciting. Fought really good. Well guys, another beautiful walleye there. Probably, I don't know, 15 and a half, 16 incher. Just a dandy fish. So uh, we're gonna get this one in the bucket and uh, keep fishing. Nice one. Nice job. Well guys, Got a nice eater walleye here. Probably about a 15 incher. So we're gonna get this one in the bucket, get this line back down, and uh, back to our cribbage game. Really big. Really big. Holy crap. Really big. Oh my. So guys, we just got done catching that 19 inch. Let that one go. And then on this sucker minnow on a plain red hook over here, got a beautiful walleye over here. Uh, we'll get this one measured for sure. I would guess around 25 inches. Uh, might go bigger than that though. It's we'll 23. That's a 23 inch. That's a 23 incher. Wow. Well, 
Well guys, it was a long night, cold, furnace trouble, but it pays off when you start to catch fish like that. So we're gonna get a picture quick and then uh, get him back down the hole. All right guys, let's get this beautiful fish back here. Wave goodbye. guys I've always wanted to catch an eel pout and I know I've done it as a kid but I finally got a nice one here and I tell you what there's one guy who likes bourbon more than anybody else so shout out to Mr. Dobson this is for you buddy all right so I was intending on letting this sucker go but the hook is super deep and uh, we worked on getting it out, but uh, I don't know that this fish will survive anymore. So I'm gonna see if our buddy who's out here fishing with us will help us clean this thing up in the morning and uh, we'll eat some eel pow. So stay tuned for that guys. But talk about a cool looking fish. Look at the pattern on that. All right, guys, we're going to put him in the bucket, put a little snow on him, and we're going to go back to bed because it's like 3 or 4 in the morning. So, all right, see you later. The only thing that's in these things for eating is you got to come from behind the belly here, right? Okay. And you take the tail off on both sides. Don't go into this. This is all guts, but just, this is all a big piece of meat. Okay. On the other side. And then the back, I usually just cut right behind the head here. Okay. And then just kind of work your way down. It's very strange. It's kind of like a like a deer. And you cut this all the way back to about where that tail is going to be, right? Okay. And once you get there, you just kind of feel the bones down. Whew. Let's see. Let's spin up here. Here, I can hold yeah. this spot. Just let me know if you're getting close to my fingertips. No, oh, you're right. And then you just, I mean, these are literally like just big tubes of meat and you just kind of carve them down. You can feel the rib cage. So this oh, is a big tube of meat you get right gotcha. there. It's a pretty, really nice tube of meat. Yeah. And you just take the skin off and then do the same thing on this other side. Okay. And I always boil them in seven up and melt butter yep. and just dip it in butter. Okay. And when you bo when you boil it in seven up like, it's gonna be just really the consistency of a lobster too. It's gonna be kind of that little bit rubbery like. It's not okay. like it's not flaky yep. fish. It's kind of like a lobster. Okay. Not kind of. It is. <laughs> and then you're just left with that meat. Awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we got our eel pout fillets here, burbot, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we're gonna cook this sucker up. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chunk the pieces up a little smaller. So we'll get rid of this. Roll up the sleeves a little bit. And uh, we'll chunk this sucker up. 
nothing special here but cut it into some manageable pieces and then we are going to be boiling this in seven up uh, a lot of people call it poor man's lobster uh, so we're gonna boil it in seven up we're gonna melt some butter and then we are gonna dip the pieces of fish into melted butter and see how it is so as you can see there I diced it up we're gonna now get some seven up in a pan get that boiling and once we get there we'll come back all right guys so we got our seven up here we're gonna just crack this open pour it in not sure how much we need we'll need but uh, yeah it's looking like we're gonna probably need both cans Pour them in there like so. In a very simple way to cook this. I've now I I've never eaten this before, but I have an eel pout specialist with me. He said it's hard to beat eel pout, and uh, so we're gonna give it a try. So we'll let our seven up warm up here. When that starts to simmer, we'll drop our fish pieces in. We'll get our butter melting and uh, I'm excited to try this. I was super excited to catch the fish, but I'm really excited to try and eat it. All right, well our seven up is starting to boil here. We're gonna go ahead and drop our fish in here quick. Here we go. All right, there's all of our fillets. We're gonna let that boil until it turns like a bright white uh, and then we'll pull it out and give it a try. So we're gonna give these a quick little flip. Our 7-Up isn't quite deep enough for uh, them to fully submerge. But uh, we'll just give them a quick little stir and uh, we'll let them cook another couple minutes and then we should be good. All right, guys, we got our melted butter here. The fish is just about done. Set that over there. I'll grab a few forks out for us. All right, well, the fish is done. We're gonna shut her off here. We're gonna pull it out, put it into a, uh, a bowl with some paper towels, just get kind of the extra moisture off of it. And uh, I can't wait to try this. And we're gonna go see if our uh, neighboring fish houses want to try it as well. So we got our fish pulled out. We got our butter melted here. Still a little hot, but uh, I'll get a piece here, and uh, we'll give it a shot. Probably shouldn't have blew on it before I dipped it in the butter, but oh well, nobody else knows. It it's got a rubbery texture to it a little bit. It, it not not bad though. Um, it does kind of fall apart, like it's it's tender, but the t flakes of it. Are kind of rubbery but the flavor is really good it's really good I'm gonna put this fork down I'm gonna take the camera and we'll let Rachel try it and you can kind of taste that 7-up in it too got a little bit of a citrus taste and then the butter really tops it off so I'll take the camera. Rachel's gonna try it. Mm. Doesn't smell too fishy. No, it's really good. Hmm. That is really good. You're yeah. right, a little bit sweet. The butter is good. It has a little um a little rubbery but it's not bad it's it like really flakes good. apart but then the mm -hmm. flakes are a little bit rubbery yeah 
but it's, it's good, really though. good. It's good. All right, guys, well, we're gonna run over to the neighbors quick, have them try some of this, and uh, we'll get their opinion on it as well. Well, guys, we went over, we shared the eel pout with all of our neighbors. Everybody absolutely loved it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was really pumped to catch that eel pout, and I'm even more excited to catch more because they are delicious. So make sure you guys stay tuned for a lot more ice fishing content to come. And if you're not doing so, get on out there and get living.